Hi, and welcome back to Hooking as a Lifestyle. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet the star afghan or blanket, baby blanket. And this is going to be a quick tutorial because it's very simple and easy to follow pattern. And there are many patterns for this or I should say tutorials for this on YouTube. If you search um, how to crochet a star star afghan, you get a whole bunch of different ways of making it. Um, you could do the the five point star, which I'm doing here today. You could do the six point star also, and there's other variations. But I'm gonna show you how to do the five point star. It's very simple to begin, and once you get you start it, the pattern is repetitive. You do it over and over again until you have the size that you think you want. Now, I don't have no specific um, stop point. You can make it as big or as little as you want. If Since this one is for a baby, I think that the size I have now is plenty. And I will tell you towards the end of this video how, um, where I stopped to make this blanket here. So now I'm going to show you how to begin. So to begin the crochet star afghan, I'm going to be using, you can use any yarn and any hook that corresponds to your yarn, whatever feels comfortable comfortable for you. I'm going to be using, this is um, some scraps I have left over from some Red Heart Super Saver, I believe. I don't remember if that's what it is, but it feels like it, so I'm guessing that's what it is. And if it's not, it's probably loose and threads, um, impeccable. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be using a J hook. I also used the J hook in the, um, the baby, the star baby afghan that I made for, for a friend of mine. Or I should say my daughter's, um, teacher from last year, which she's about to have her baby any day now, I think, so... I'm glad that I have it finished and I will be giving that to her. Anyway, let's get started on this star afghan. And now I have two colors here because I'm going to show you how to do a color change. And just so you know, this tutorial, I'm not going to complete the whole um, blanket here. I'm just going to show you how to start it and how to end it. And that's it. So to begin, we're going to start with a slip knot. Or you can start with the magic circle if you prefer. But here I'm going to start with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to form a circle by joining to that very first chain. Just like so. And then we're going to be crocheted, crocheting inside that um, circle. So to begin, I'm going to take my straggler and I'm gonna crochet over that as I go and I'm gonna chain up three one two three and that is gonna count as your first double crochet here and then you're gonna put 19 double crochets inside of this circle here inside of the ring for a total of 20 double crochets It's my last double crochet in the ring. And I have 20 total. I'm going to pull on this straggler to close up my circle. And then I am going to slip stitch to the top of that chain 3 that we began with. So slip stitch right in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain up 1. For round two and then we're gonna insert a hook in there and make a single crochet into that same space you're gonna skip one which is gonna be this one right here the one that looks all stretched out that's your the first one you're gonna skip and you're gonna jump over to this one and you're gonna put three double crochet in there followed by three chains 
and then another three double crochet inside that same space. Sorry about the plane. They pass a lot in this area. So here you have your first point made. So this is the pattern for the second row. You're going to skip one and you're going to jump into the next one and you're going to put a single crochet in there. Okay? You're going to skip one and you're going to put three double crochet. Chain three. And three more double crochet inside that same space. Now you have two points. So we're going to skip one, single crochet in the next, skip one, three double crochet into the next, followed by three chains and three more double crochet inside the same space. Skip one, single crochet in the next. Skip one, three double crochet, three change, three double crochet. Skip one, single crochet in the next, skip one, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Now you have your five points. So remember that we started with a single crochet. So what we're going to do is skip over that last stitch and then we're going to slip stitch right into that single crochet. And put it down so you can see what it looks like. And this is the start of your star afghan. Now to begin on your third round, you need to start at a certain point and what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into these first two double crochets so we can start here in this middle double crochet of the three that are here on this side of the point. So let me just show you. I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet here and then slip stitch again into the next double crochet there. And then we're going to chain up three and that's going to count as your first double crochet and then we're going to do another double crochet in the next space right here which is the the double crochet from the previous row so you have two double crochets there now we're going to jump into the the point here where the chain three is and we're going to do the same exact thing which is double crochet three inside that space and then we're going to chain up three and three double crochet right back into that same space of that point. And just like you did on this side, you're going to put two double crochets along the side here. So a double crochet right into this first space and a double crochet into the following space. And then you're going to skip over these two spaces, which is a, a double crochet and a single crochet. You're going to skip those two. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to skip three. So 
you're going to skip the, this double crochet, the single crochet, and then the next double crochet. And you're going to put two double crochets in the following two spaces. So you put a double crochet here, and then a double crochet here. And then you're going to add three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet into the chain three space. one, two, and three, and then three more double crochet in there. So we're going to add a double crochet and a double crochet in the following next two spaces. Double crochet there, and then a double crochet there, and then we'll skip over those three and we'll do a double crochet here and a double crochet here okay now we're gonna be jumping into that chain three space and we're gonna do three double crochet chain three three double crochet into that same space chain three three double crochet And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next space, one double crochet into the following space, skip over those three, and then double crochet into the next one, double crochet into the next one, and then in the chain three space we're going to add three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. The noise you hear is Oreo in the background scratching away on his bed. <laughs> and now we're going to put one double crochet in the next and one double crochet in the next. I'm going to skip over those three spaces and do a double crochet in the next one and one double crochet in the next one and then we're going to jump into that chain three space and we're going to put three double crochet chain three three double crochet We're going to double crochet in the next space and double crochet into the next space. We're going to skip over all this and then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we began with. And that is what your star should look like at the end of round three. Now to begin round four, you're going to um, do the exact same thing for every remaining row that you do. So basically what you're going to do from now on <clears throat> is instead of like we did in round three, slip stitching over two times, we're just going to slip stitch over just one time. Because as you can see, we slip stitch to that top, um, the top of that chain three but we're sitting right on top of the, the gap. So what we want to do is move over just once so we can start our pattern. So we're going to slip stitch into that following stitch and then chain up three. And that counts as your first double crochet here. And then you're going to double crochet in the following stitches. So double crochet, one double crochet in each. So one double crochet there, one double crochet in the next and one double crochet in the next which is a total of four double crochets and then we do the usual which is three double crochet three chains three double crochets into that chain three space and then when we <clears throat> move down this way we're gonna do four double crochets right one two three four and then we're gonna skip that one and we're gonna skip the next and we're gonna do four double crochet going up this way 
So let me just show you. So we're going to put three double crochet into this space. Chain three and three double crochet in the same space. And then we're going to double crochet in the next four spaces. And now from now on, you're going to skip the next two spaces and then just double crochet up to the next point for a total of four on this end. And as you um, move on to row five and six and seven, there will be more on, uh, there will be more um, double crochets on the side here. So the next row will be six double crochets and the next row will be eight double crochets like that. It will increase by two. So now we'll put three double crochet, chain three into this space here, the chain three space. And then one double crochet in the following four spaces. And as you go on, it will get easier and, and your eye will tell you exactly what you need to do. Since we only skip in two, you'll know right away, once you get to the end, that these two are need to be skipped over and you're just going to jump into the other side of the point and double crochet your way up. Then we get to the chain three space and we'll do the same thing, which is chain three. I mean, sorry, three double crochets, chain three, and three double crochet. Okay, then we'll move down here with one double crochet in each of the next four. We'll skip over those two and we'll do double crochet in the next four. Three double crochet and chain three space, chain three, three double crochet. One double crochet. You saw what I just did there, just so you know. I moved over the stitches so I could see the following space because it does tend to hide sometimes. That's one, two, three, and four. Skip over two and then double crochet in the next four. Three double crochet, three chains, and three double crochets into the next space. So I move over my stitches so I can see my next space. Double crochet in the next four spaces. And here we right back to the beginning. So we skip over those two and then we slip stitch into the chain the top of the chain three that we began with. And that is what your start should look like at this point. 
So remember, from this point on, you're going to slip stitch just one, and you're going to chain up three to begin your pattern. And then you just double crochet your way up to the next point and do the three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, and then work your way down to fill in the six double crochets here, skip over the two, and so on. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how I, I change colors here. So let me get my... Okay, stuck there. Okay, go this way. All right, so I'm going to undo what I just did here. I'm just going to show you. Once I get here, I always slip stitch, of course. You slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And then I'm going to move my... I'm going to slip stitch into the next space. But I'm not going to complete it. I'm going to stop there. I'm just going to insert my hook there. And with my second color, I'm just going to finish that slip, slip stitch. Like so. And then now I'll chain three. One, two, and three. And then... I'll double crochet in the next five spaces for a total of six, right? Just like so. My last double crochet here on the side. And as you can see, you have six double crochet. In the next round, you have eight and so on. And that is how you crochet the star afghan or blanket. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that I was um <clears throat> helpful enough. I hope I didn't go too fast for you. Um if I did, like I said, there are plenty of other um tutorials on how to create the star afghan anyway guys thank you so much for stopping by and watching this tutorial um hopefully i'll have another one for you this week and i'll talk to you soon don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed please do so for more tutorials to come bye